look still a little bit of a haze off in the distance. Otherwise, that temperature has been up there 89 degrees. And we talked about again, light breeze seven miles an hour feels like temperature at 93. Our dew point has been increasing this time yesterday. We were at around 64, so I know four degrees didn't seem like much. But once you start inching towards 70, you start to get to more of that tropical type atmosphere and uh, we are just about there. So skies for the most part, though, have been clear. You can see an isolated shower tried to pop up down near Osceola. Otherwise, more showers, even a couple thunderstorms starting to fire up by the Minnesota border. So nothing too strong yet. You can see where the stronger storms are, though, by Yankton, South Dakota. Severe storms working their way through wind potential on those as well as some very heavy rain which I know to a lot of folks would be welcome through portions of the state. We've got some parts of the state that are nearly six inches below average for this time of year. So across the state, though, we remain dry and hot and you go regionally. Uh, not a lot out there. We've got those storms trying to work their way into Iowa. Otherwise, you go up over the Great Lakes and you got some showers and thunderstorms. So looking at our day for tomorrow, it is going to get just a couple degrees warmer than we got out there today. 93 is the high on the day. You've got chances for showers and thunderstorms pretty much all around us. We will eventually get some, but as we work our way into tomorrow, Likelihood not looking that high at this point. So your planner for tomorrow as we head throughout the day could work in a little bit of cloud cover. Look at the start though. That temperature hanging out in the middle 70s. We build that back to 90 degrees by 4 p.m. Heat index values in the mid to upper 90s. So again, stay hydrated. Take those breaks in the shade if you're headed out. UV index tomorrow is going to be high again. Pretty much on par with what we saw out there today. So we have got uh, all of the summer factors working in full force here as far as heat goes. And uh, we look chances again for some of those storms to trickle over through northern portions of the state tonight and then into the overnight and early morning hours northwestern portions of the state will have a chance at that uh, but much of our day on tuesday will be cloud free and dry and we head into wednesday sunshine as well but we will start to work in by Wednesday evening, chances for those showers and thunderstorms to sag their way down from the Dakotas again and bring in some much needed rain out there. And I say much needed and it's kind of back and forth. Some areas are way above average, some areas way below average into the metro. We're just about where we should be for this time of year. Um, not to say the last couple weeks haven't been dry, but at least we're close to average. Waterloo almost three inches above. Look at Omaha almost six inches below with a tumble almost six inches above. So it has been scattered across the state for who has seen the decent rain uh, tonight, though. Any rain chances will remain north as we saw up on our super Doppler rate tomorrow back up to 93 again. Heat index values climbing back into the mid to upper 90s. Eight day forecast chances for rain are there. We head into the next few days here and you can see the, uh, the uh, rain helps us cool off 87 with a good chance for rain on Thursday should trickle over into Friday morning. After that, we kind of waffle around in the upper 80s to low 90s through next week.